What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a double exposure in Adobe Photoshop. This process is probably much easier than a lot of you guys may think. When I did this I, uh, for the first time, I didn't actually even watch a video. I kind of just put two and two together and kind of figured out how to do it on my own. It is super easy, super simple, and if you know what you're doing, you can probably make it in like two minutes. And yeah, let's hop right into Photoshop. All right, so now that I have Photoshop open, I have pre-selected which photo I'm going to use. If you don't know which photos you're going to use, it might take you a couple minutes just to kind of put a few different combinations together and see which one you like best. But for this video, I pre-selected the photos, so this can go pretty quick, honestly. It's not going to take very long. It's much easier than you guys may think, like I said earlier. So I have went ahead and opened this photo. If you don't know how to open a photo in Photoshop, just go ahead and hit File, and then Open right here, and it'll let you select a photo. Or if you're on the main page, there should be a spot that says Open, just click that and you'll be able to select which file you're looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and drag this photo on top. And it'll automatically just load it on top of that photo. Sometimes you may need to adjust the crop, but these two already line up perfectly, so I don't need to do that on these. And it's gonna be pretty simple. All, we'll get, all we are gonna do here is just hit opacity right here and drag this slider down. And as you guys can see, the farther you drag it down, the less the top photo will show. So that's 0, 100. I usually like to go somewhere between like 50 and 60. Just to kind of get the look I am going for. Probably go about 60 on that one. Now as you guys can see, that is already almost the final image we're going to have here. All I'm going to do here is just go ahead and add a brightness and contrast layer. This is just going to be right here. It's just going to allow me to kind of add a little more contrast to it and adjust the brightness however I want. I found when I add a photo on top of another photo, it kind of fades it out a little bit. It kind of sucks some of the contrast out. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag this up. Probably about, I usually go between 50 and like 70-ish about on these. And probably about right, go 60 again. And yeah. That's pretty much it. As I, like I said, it's pretty, pretty quick, super fast, super simple if you know what you're going for. So let's just go ahead and check. That's before the contrast layer, that's after. And yeah, super simple. And like I said earlier, if you know what you're going for, you can make one of these in literally like a minute. So yeah. All right, and I'm gonna make another one just to kind of show you guys the process from the start to finish again, just so you can kind of get the idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open right here. And it already has my double exposure folder I made for this video pulled up. Let's go ahead and select another photo. Let's double click that. I'm go ahead and open right into a new tab on Photoshop. And then hit just go here. And click and drag onto the other photo and it will, there we go. Just drag the photo right on top of the other one and go ahead and hit the opacity. Bring that down probably, probably about 50, 55, that'll look good. And then just go right here again, hit brightness and contrast. Add a little contrast back into that. Just make the colors pop. Highlights a little brighter, shadows a little darker, and kind of just add to the overall image. And that is the before and after on that contrast layer. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, probably easier than a lot of you guys were thinking. It was a lot easier when I first did it than how I thought it was gonna be. So yeah. So, and if you wanna export this image, just go ahead up here and hit File, Export, Export As. I just export mine as, what? Export as. All right, that one's not letting me export. Um, go ahead and hit file on this one. Export as. And it's not letting me export, but if I wasn't gonna export, so I think I'm running out of space on my computer because uh, I do a lot of stuff on here. But so what you're gonna do here is on the format, I said export as JPEG, and then I said export all, and then it'll allow you to name your file and select where you wanna export it to, and then it's that simple. 
All right guys, so that is actually a pretty quick tutorial on how you make a double exposure in Adobe Photoshop. I hope this helped you guys just kind of get a little insight on how I do it and just kind of how easy it really is. So I appreciate you guys for watching this. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you guys have any kind of videos you guys want to see from me, comment down below, let me know. I'm always open to trying new videos and kind of just post what you guys want me to post. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.